Well, welcome to my room of chaos. And there's a tower of towers. <laughs> um, ugh. So, I don't know. <laughs> I uh, have gotten motivated to work through some of my precision workstations. I turned a bunch of T3600s into space heaters, which that video is live now, so no continuity errors there. <laughs> Oh man, too many projects. Uh, and I'm trying to get through a lot of these other precisions I have. And uh, something I've been kind of dragging my feet on is testing Tesla compatibility. Tesla in there. With the various models of Dell precisions. Now the uh, 3610 has been verified by somebody on Reddit that... Uh, is actively running dual P40s in there, 7610. But I wanted to check to see if my custom-made cable would work if I changed out the end. And uh, you can't really see it. I don't want to push on the cable because this is running and that is drawing, um, uh, I think, 175 watts right now. But, um, yeah, it's not glowing, so that's good. Not like that's drawing any more power than it would from the Dells, but um, yeah, I just I'd like to properly verify stuff if I can. But uh, yeah, I'm working on getting that figured out. I'm going to retrofit some because I have some that have the wrong connector on the end, so I'm going to retrofit re retrofit some with the correct connector for these precisions. Um, it is possible that you could just buy the right cable online. I don't know if they make a uh, PCI Express 8 pin to um, EPS 12 volt 8 pin. I should probably check that before I get too far into this. But I am going to start selling these once I am satisfied with my uh, verification of compatibility. What I'm doing right now is not a really good enough test in my opinion. Because the uh, card is <laughs> very heavily thermal throttling right now. Should probably actually close this. And um, I haven't done any like graphics testing. Yeah, the system is so bogged down. It doesn't want to play nice. But um, yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of curious to see how this goes. My assumption at this point is anything that uh, ends in a 10 for these precisions. Uh, should be compatible. So, 7610, I think, I think I have a 3610 on top, 5610, 5810. Oh, let's just walk over here. Oh, no, 5810 on top, 3610, and uh, 7810. So, I want to see how these all do. And uh, once I verify that compatibility, I'm going to make a list of sorts on which of these models can run the Tesla GPUs, which should be these four models. I think there's a 7910 that exists, but I don't own one, so if I don't own it, I can't verify it. Uh, there's a 7600 down there. I might try it. I don't think it's going to work. And I think I've already tried the 3600 with no luck. Uh, I'll probably do the 5600 since I have one that's floating around just to eliminate that question. But, um, yeah. And hopefully, I think this 58. Yep. These all have the right power supplies. But, um, yeah, I'm going to see what happens and then uh, kind of go from there. If, uh, if I do verify compatibility, I'm going to swap over more of those cables that I, I have custom made and see how they sell. I only think I have enough to make 10 right now unless I start tearing down the um, ones for the Dell's servers, which I could do, I guess. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Kind of curious to see what happens. I should make it a kit where I include a power adapter so people can get fan power because these don't have... There's no way to... These don't have headers. For fan power so if you need fan power you'd have to um, 
Um, basically, you have to scavenge SATA, the SATA port for fan power. So, I don't know. Just kind of curious to see what happens here. But if um, you have any interest in a power cable for Tesla GPU and the Dell Precisions, let me know. Um, alternatively, you can get crazy with adapters and stuff, but I'm not super keen on that personally. Because these have a single 8-pin going up to the top, and then a single 8-pin going to the bottom, and then two 6-pins. Uh, but, yep, I don't know. That's, uh, that's all I have to say. So, thanks for watching.